all right guys welcome to another episode once again doing more november crappie fishing we are right back at the cypress swamp for attempt number three i really wanted to try a new cypress swamp that is actually very close to this one probably two or three miles away but the deal with trying new places is it can be a complete failure so I'm going to save that for another time due to the fact that we are 100% confident in this lake. We know exactly where they are and how to fish it. And I did not want to waste an entire day experimenting like last weekend. We went and tried one and we didn't really catch hardly anything even though we know they were there. It's just the process of each lake being completely different from each other and having to learn what works and what doesn't. <clears throat> uh, I could have went there for maybe one or two hours and we would have known if we was going to do any good or not. But the problem was then it would have been one o'clock already and probably two by the time I got the canoe back on and then drive down here and get it back off and down on this water then we would have been facing only two good hours of fishing. So I decided to come here because I know there's a way greater chance that we'll be successful. The only problem with this time of the year is dead leaves and it all depends on the wind direction, where it's been blowing them to, what end of the lake or what side of the lake. There is a lot of dead leaves just hopefully not where we're going to be fishing so i'm going to go down and look at the very end of the lake and hope that they're not down there but i have a bad feeling they will be yeah this is clear enough today you could use a lure what do you got i told you there'd be a fish here crappie or bass you gotta have a bass no, it's a big crappie. Yeah, nice black. See, sometimes you gotta fish these little objects that we miss and try every one of them. He's 12, 11, 12. Not, not bad. Really? And we made too much noise now. See, we done spooked him. And the fucking cut. Right, guys, our first crappie of the day. Yeah, it's a nice <laughs> black. Yep. Alright. It was almost instantly, too. Ah, dang. Oh, yeah. Not bad. About like yours. It's a black, too. About 10. 10 inch black, guys. All right, we are, we have each officially caught one crappie. They are not biting too well today, so happy just to get these two, really. All right. Look at his bottom fin, look. There's a big black streak through it. Look at his tail. Honey, look. His tail's deformed. It's like pointing down, diagonal. All right, guys, my first crappie of the day. Nonetheless.
he pulled that bobber on her so fast i thought i had a channel cat or a bow in freaking weird my bobber just went straight under did no warning sign at all if i wouldn't have been paying attention i would have missed that fish it went under that fast just boom out of absolute nowhere all right guys my first white crappie about seven inches pretty small I need another one, I'm sorry. He killed it. He absolutely destroyed that thing. Completely oh. under and I had no clue. Yep, he robbed me. It's a nice bass. That's not bad. Got a fairly nice large mouth. Um, you're gonna have to hold it different or something. Yep, yeah, turn your body that I mean turn your arms that way you don't have to turn your body and turn your arms that way there you go it's not a bad bass and right when she was reeling him in guys I was watching her and my bobber went completely under and I missed something he robbed me okay it's because it's the warmest part of the day one to three after that, it's going to go down. Nice. Yeah, I had a... I mean, it wasn't big enough to eat bluegill, but it was hand size. He never showed me the last white crappie. I need to get him out. So I can get a picture of it. Did it just set there for like two or three minutes? Just leaving it in one? So. Are you just leaving them set or are you moving them? I did not move it. Oh. Over there too. Mm -hmm. That thing could be really long. Probably. Oh, you didn't? It might be a full size tree laying down there. <laughs> okay. I bet it is. It's a full size tree. And we're at the, that's the butt. This is the root end. This end is the butt. That's a nice one. Yeah, he's 12. I'm still hung on that branch. I'm going to throw the anchor down though. Look at that. Not bad, is it? All right, guys, my biggest crappie of the day. Right at 12. You ruined your chance. Oh, my. It's one of the biggest ones of the day, too. God. Still only 11, though. Right, she, oh, I never turned it on. Yeah, I did. All right, guys, she got another 11-inch white, 10-inch. Something was after mine because it started going ballistic for a second. See? Yeah. Get it. They always ruin the minnow even if you catch 
Oh my. Mine was acting like a bluegill. More than a crappie. That was a big fish too that time. It looked bigger. I need a minnow. I'm sitting here using a dead one. Got a fish on our way out. We were calling it quits at three o'clock. Yeah. And uh, I'm not really because we did bad. It's just the size ain't here today. And they are, once the wind quit, the, the fish quit too. Not horrible. Probably 10. The sun, absolutely right behind your back, horrible. It's more to it than that. I just don't want to be freezing cold when we're trying to get the canoe on and I don't want it to be dark. And This way we can get to Poplar Bluff by 4.30 or 5. Be home by 5.30. So we can we get guys, we did catch, we caught, you heard her, she, we caught 14, two of them being bass, so 12 crappie, about half black and half white, just none of them over 11 inches this time, maybe 112, the size just wasn't there, them ones that we caught that day was just a fluke, I guess, or they only bite, just, you could probably come 10 times and it only happens once, they have to be in that special mood which is only probably once or twice in the spring and once or twice in the fall. Anyway, guys, we're gonna get out of here. I don't think we can come back till spring. The, the leaves are just too much on the water right now. <laughs>